At this time, Saluki Women's Basketball and Saluki Athletics would like to take this opportunity to honor five young ladies who are our seniors today playing in their final game here at the SIU Arena as a Saluki. Our first senior has been one of SIU's most aggressive players throughout her career. A native of Lake Zurich, Illinois, she was named Scholar Athlete All-NBC in 2002 and 2003. She was also awarded the Charlotte West Scholarship prior to this season. After starting in three games as a true freshman, she suffered a knee injury which forced her to undergo two knee surgeries. Following a medical redshirt in 2000 and 2001, she worked extremely hard at earning a spot in the starting lineup. Needless to say, that hard work paid off as she garnered 51 consecutive starts dating back to the beginning of last season. So far this year, she has been a force to reckon with underneath the basket, where she's averaging a team-leading 8.5 rebounds per game to go along with grabbing 10 or more boards on 12 different occasions, including a career high of 20 versus Long Island back on November 28th. On her career, she has scored a total of 474 points, not including this afternoon, pulled down 456 rebounds, dished out 62 assists, and had 99 steals, as well as gathered 28 blocks. Not to mention, she has registered eight double-doubles in her career, including four in back-to-back -back seasons. Ladies and gentlemen, this young lady scored 16 points this afternoon. Number 54, Katie Bollinger! Katie is escorted by her mom and dad, Paul and Mary Berwinger. Our second senior this afternoon transferred to SIU from Butler County Community College a year ago. She's a native of Olin, Kansas, and she's proven to be one of the Saluki's most athletic players on the team throughout her brief two-year stint. She's known for her smothering defense, which creates havoc for Saluki opponents. This senior registered a total of 43 steals, scored 156 points, dished out 39 assists, and gathered 10 blocks in 36 games. This season, she's played in 13 games while making six starts and averaged 4.3 points per game before a stress fracture ended her career. Ladies and gentlemen, let's honor senior forward number 40, Stephanie Brown. Stephanie with Mark A. Lee Brown. Our next senior has been a key part of the Saluki's inside games for four years. Once again, our next senior has been a key part of the Saluki's inside game for the past four years. A native of Bolingbrook, Illinois, she averages 5.8 points and 1.6 rebounds in 97 career games, including 46 starts. She's posted double figures in points 24 times in her career, including a career high of 20, which was done at Eastern Illinois on December 7th of 2002. Also a solid rebounder, she swiped 10 or more boards on eight different occasions. Her career totals consist of 558 points, 158 rebounds, 46 assists, 29 steals, and 36 blocks. Ladies and gentlemen, she scored two points this afternoon on her senior guard, or excuse me, senior center, 32, Tiffany Kretscher. Being represented with her dad, Bill, and her brother, Richard. Our fourth senior hails from Altamont, Illinois. She's shown she's the type of player who is just as effective on the perimeter as she is in the paint. Although making 23 of 26 starts in 2001 and 2002, she spent the majority of her Saluki career as one of SIU's top players off the bench, averaging 5.6 points and 3.9 rebounds in 87 games, which include 33 starts. She's one of the best free throw shooters on the team with a 764 percentage. 
She was also scored, she has also scored double figures in points a total of 18 times in her career and has pulled down double figures in rebounds on seven occasions. Additionally, she registered six double doubles and was named to the all tournament team at the Navy Classic on December 19th and the 20th of 2002. Ladies and gentlemen, let's honor senior forward center number 24, Jody Hyden. Jody escorted by Rich and Leanne Hyden. Fifth and final senior this afternoon, played two years here at SIU, transferring from Southeastern Illinois College. She's a native of Junction, Illinois, became the Saluki starting point guard, and immediately made a huge impact. Starting 49 of 51 games in that position, she's a team's leading scorer with 10 and a half points per game this season. On her career, she has scored double figures in 20 games, including five of 21 or more. Although her first year was good, this year was even better. And she has not only notched a career high of 26 points against Wichita State on January 5th, but she won two of SIU's three games with less than six seconds left on the clock. Her game-winning three-point play gave the Salukis a 68-65 win at St. Louis on December 29th, and her clutch three-pointer with one second left gave SIU a 78-75 win at Bradley on January 31st. Speaking of three-pointers, she knocked down a total of 82 in her two years here at SIU, including a team-high 45 this season. Ladies and gentlemen, she tied her career high of 26 points this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's on her senior guard, number 14, Dana Pinkston. Dana escorted by her mom and dad, Tom and Gina Pinkston. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's honor our five seniors this afternoon. Number 54, Katie Berwanger. Number 40, Stephanie Brown. 32, Tiffany Crutcher. 24, Jody Hyden. And 14, Dana Pinkston. And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we turn the microphone over to our head coach, Miss Loriot. Okay, I'd just like to say a couple words and then I'll turn it over actually to the seniors. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you all for coming to the game and being very supportive. Uh, we, of course, wish the outcome would have been different. Um, I'd like to tell you, as a fan, you come to the game and you see our kids for 40 minutes or a little bit longer when you're here, okay? When you see them, you see good and bad passes, you see rebounds, you see some missed block outs, you see an occasional turnover, okay? You see some missed shots, some made shots. All of those things come together to create not only conference standings, but a win-loss record. And as a fan, and even for those people that don't come to our games, that's how these kids are judged. Let me tell you what I see as a coach. I see heart, I see determination. I see a kid that has gone through two knee surgeries and come back from both of those to play for her fifth year and works harder than any kid I've ever seen. I see the kid right next to her, Stephanie Brown who is dealing with a, a, a very rare arthritic condition and every day that kid's in pain and she still tried to play. She had a stress fracture in her femur and that's why we stopped her from playing for the rest of the year. But she's still here, she's still working. I see Tiffany Crutcher who was one of the few seniors that was able to go relatively unharmed during her career but that simply means that she had to endure practice every single day. And that's wear and tear on somebody over the course of a college career. Okay, and Jody Hyden. Jody Hyden had a stress fracture in her hip last spring. Came back, got healthy, and on December 3rd went down with one of the worst injuries I've ever seen. A severely dislocated ankle. And she's just now coming back from that. And she's coming back far earlier than most people would have. 
When I look at Dana Pinkston, I see a kid that came to us. We've had her for two years. Dana, as you know, had thumb surgery in the off season. She's got one whole side of her body, her leg, her ankle, do not function on a daily basis. Half the time, she doesn't even normal in practice, and she's out here playing her heart out. So again, what I see out of these kids, most people look at their record, most people look at where we are in the conference standings. And I mean that when I say I see heart, I see determination, I see what they give every day in practice, I see the community service they do. Habitat for Humanity, the Special Olympics, Alzheimer's Walks, cancer fundraisers, reading to kids in the schools, basketball clinics, the countless hours they put in on and off the court. Those five kids right there, you're looking at a 3.8, a 3.6, a 3.5, a 3.3, and a 3.0 GPA. You're looking at one young lady who will go on to grad school and be involved in sports medicine, Tiffany Crutcher. Jody Hyden. Jody Hyden will go on to be an elementary school teacher. Dana Pinkston will go on and work with recreation and work with youth groups, setting up different programs. She's great with kids. Stephanie Brown, one day, hopefully she won't be at your house, but one day she hopes to be an FBI agent. Okay, and Katie Berwinger wants to work in graphic design and advertising. So when I look out on the floor right now, you may see a record. You may see that we're not going to the conference tournament. I see champions standing right out there. I see the best role model your kids could have. but not least, they've given their heart and their soul to SIU. They've been wonderful representatives of SIU and SIU women's basketball. I'm very proud to know them. I'm very proud to coach them. I'm not embarrassed by our record. I wish it was different, but I'm so proud of these kids and I'm so proud of what they've given to this school. And now I'm going to pass the baton to them. Could we clear the scoreboard? <laughs> um, since there's so many of us, and we all have so many people to thank, and we're, we don't want to bore you guys and be repetitive, we decided to uh, show off one of our other talents, and we wrote a little poem that we're going to read to you guys. Thank you for the memories we've gained at SIU, the school, the basketball, the friends we've made with all of you. To all the Lowell fans, we appreciate your cheers while the student body is sleeping off their beers. <laughs> A thank you to the cookie man for the cookies we all ate, and of course to Henry for the clippings that were great. To the rate room staff who always makes us sore, and then off to the training room to ice and stem some more. A thank you to Hansa. So, what chapter is this? Also to Roger, the prayers will be missed. Thanks to the coaches we've had throughout the years. Through good times and bad, we shed a lot of tears. Coach Gray, Smith, Gilmore, and also OPP for all the things you gave us. So grateful, us 5 b <laughs> To all our great teammates, it's time for us to go, but we wish you all the best. We'll miss you so. And for all our friends and family, thank you for the support. We know you always love us on and off the court. And I just wanted to say a special thank you for all the people that came down for me. I got a whole posse in the middle. I got all my friends and my family and Eric, my mom and dad, and everyone here. So I just wanted to say a special thank you to you and my teammates and the coaches. Um, I see some people up there I know, so <laughs> all of Junction. 
right there. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you guys and thank my sister. She always comes and her boyfriend Mike and especially my parents. My mom only missed like four games my entire career, so that was nice. Thank you. Um, and that's it.